In that 31, I had a question coming out of section 4.1, number 121. And this is where we were given an equation for the average income for the years 1990 through 1999, told it was a linear function. And the units we were given that it was that x was the number of years after 1990. All right, and that I of X, that was your average income in dollars. So I was average, I should say annual income. And the units in this were dollars. So what we're trying to figure out or what we're asked to do is which of the following options, and they give you A, B, C, and D, which one is the correct interpretation for the slope? So let's take a look at this and, and notice that we have I of X, equaling 1054x plus 23286. All right, so this number right here is your slope, 1054. So if my slope is 1054, I can write that as a unit ratio, 1054 over 1. All right, now again, slopes are always change in y over change in x. Or for this particular problem, we're not using the y letter, so if I want to get technical, it's change in income over change in x. But if we look at the units, right, this is dollars on the numerator, and this is years after 1990 in the denominator. So really what this is saying is, if you think of, let me change colors here, for every one year past 1990, right, so 1990, 1991, 1992, so for every year past 1990, in that, at least in that decade that we had the data, we can see that the numerator, right, is increasing because it's positive, right? So then our income, right, our average annual income is increasing by $1,054. So that's why you see me picking option C. Each year in the decade of the 1990s, the average annual income increased by 10,000, not 10,000, $1,054. All right, thanks so much. Bye.